I feel immense proud because uh, what our country is doing is fabulous. Like uh, as Australian Prime Minister have said that uh, PM Modi as uh, the boss. So it's a great thing that India is soon starting chip manufacturing as well. So we already have the designers, now we'll start manufacturing. So I see a very bright future in India when it comes to the silicon revolution. The G20 presidency in India and initiatives like uh, the Chandrayaan initiative, India has set the tone for the coming years that how things are going to be. So we today had a fireside chat which was uh, very insightful and enriching. Uh, we discussed various topics related to AI and the breakthroughs in the uh, quantum computing and also related to how to ensure that the data is protected and uh, uh, Sri Rajiv Chandrasekhar ji discussed about the digital data protection bill that, uh, he has bought, uh, that the government has bought uh, uh, in the parliament. And then we also talked about the data centers that the India is having and how we are going to make sure uh, to develop India into a trillion dollar digital economy by 2030. So today we have a fireside chat uh, with Minister Sir and there we, that was an insightful, very much interesting uh, chat that we had on various questions. So it was really great learning with him along with all the audience and we have many questions around technology, innovation, cloud computing. So everything was very well. So it was a great learning experience that I had today with Sir. So today we had a great session with uh, our Minister Sir, Dr. Sri Rajiv Chandrasekhar where we have discussed a lot of uh, things whether it is the digital India where we are rapidly in the digital economy whether it is digital technology also the field of semiconductor where we have initiated about the you know new initiatives that government is taking like semicon 2023 which is creating a you know use buzz in the whole global economy so these are a few points that we have discussed and i love the session you know that when prime minister narendra modi ji launched digital india in 2015 one of his big uh, goals and uh, his vision was that young Indians uh, in, in all around the country will see through Digital India more and more opportunities for themselves, for their success. And because of that, our digital economy and our economy will grow uh, based on the effort and the innovation and the perseverance and the determination of young Indians. These type of events uh, in, a, in universities like Amity University, which are uh, world-class universities engaging with students who are absolutely uh, you know fired up and determined to create a better future for themselves and for our Bharat uh, are, are a way of not only communicating Prime Minister's vision the uh, the expanding opportunities for young Indians the importance of skilling in their in their lives and careers uh, not only just that but also for us in government to be inspired by their work by the young students and their commitment and determination and their own vision and perspective towards uh, building this new India that we are all working together for. So I think these are uh, very excellent occasions for those in government to learn and be inspired and in turn uh, hopefully motivate and inspire young students to do better and be active participants in this creation of a developed India, developed Bharat, Vikasit Bharat and a new India vision of our Prime Minister. It was a really great experience and to know about the innovation, digital transformation, what is going to happen for the future youth. So it was in all a very great experience. G20 and Chandrayaan. It was a like very successful moment for our country and it shows how our country is being developed and there are further more to come. Today we had the opportunity to interact with our Honourable Minister Sir. It was truly an, en an enriching and insightful session. We had discussions on various topics including AI, uh, deep fakes and the gaming industry. Uh, the session was truly insightful as we know with the Prime Minister's vision of making India Atmanirbhar and digitally progressive, India has set the tone for the coming years that how we will be moving forward and take a global position at the global economy. Covid times like uh, the rise of digital uh, digital technology and digital uh, field has been increasing day by day which of course a lot of risk has also been arising with regards to cyber security issues and everything. So Sir has actually delivered very a uh, very insightful speech about the kind of problems and solutions we actually developed and of course I hope that uh, 
once we actually set it, set our uh, foot into the corporate, we'll surely be able to implement the technology and help ourselves. Our Prime Minister in 2015 said that we want Digital India to transform the lives of people. And financial inclusion was one of the areas that India, because of its size, because of our population, had lagged uh, and had not uh, delivered to our people for many, many decades. And the World Bank report today has shown that the technology and the Digital India program has done in six years the financial inclusion that would have otherwise taken 47 years to achieve if you had gone in the pace of the 65 years before 2014 and before Digital India. So I think this is a demonstrable, solid piece of evidence about how technology can really transform the Aam Admi, the real common citizens' lives in a way that was would have taken decades to do. Uh, because This has been possible because of Prime Minister's vision and the use of technology to implement that vision. Today I got an opportunity to interact with the Honourable Minister, sir. So it was a very great experience and an insightful experience with for me. And we got to know about a lot of new things. And uh, for sure, through this conversation, I can believe that India is a land for new various upcoming new technologies. And uh, it, I had a great experience for, of learning. So today we had this Infinity Conference where we talked about Digital India and uh, tech in India in general. So what I wanted to say is that we already have a lot of great chip designers. So it's a great thing that India is soon starting chip manufacturing as well. So we already have the designers, now we'll start manufacturing. So I see a very bright future in India when it comes to the silicon revolution. I believe uh, that with the G20 presidency in India and initiatives like uh, the Chandrayaan initiative, India has set the tone for the coming years that how things are going to be. The world is looking after and closely monitoring the steps India is taking at the global level, keeping in mind the initiatives which are being taken by our Prime Minister, sir. So India is the land of rising opportunities and something, the actions that the world will see for uh, us. I feel immense proud because uh, what our country is doing is fabulous. Like uh, as Australian Prime Minister have said that uh, PM Modi as uh, the boss. So we feel like we are the uh, we are living in a country where our Prime Minister is the leader of the world. 